Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss this set A, which is subset of R2D. We have to prove that it is not a compact subset of R2D where D is a Euclidean distance. So here I have written a given information. So the main information is we have a matrix space R2D. D is a Euclidean distance. And the second important thing is this given set A. A is a collection of some points of R2 which will satisfy this condition. And we have to prove that it is not a compact subset of R2D. So let me mention here to prove that to prove that A is not compact in R2D. Okay. So let us find a given set first. We are familiar with this result that is mod A less than or equal to B if and only if minus b less than or equal to a less than or equal to b. So this result will be useful to find a given set. What is the information we have mod x less than or equal to 1. If we apply this result we can write minus 1 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 1 right. So to find the curves we should replace inequality by equality. If you replace this inequality by equality, we will have x is equal to minus 1. If you replace it by equality, x is equal to 1. So x is equal to minus 1. It is a straight line which is parallel to y axis and passes through x is equal to minus 1, right? And x is equal to 1 is a line parallel to y axis which passes through x is equal to 1 getting so yes so this type of region we have this is a given set a getting this is a given set a this is given set a see actually they have mentioned x lies between minus 1 and 1 so that means we should consider all points between these two lines so that's why this is set a we have to prove that it is not compact okay let me remove this part so we will have some space to write See, there is one very important result. So that result I'm going to use to prove the set is not compact. Okay. So that result is in R2D, where it is a Euclidean distance, a set is compact if and only if it is closed and bounded. So that means in R2D, if you have any closed and bounded set, then it is compact. Or if you have any compact set, then it is closed and bounded. But see here we have to prove the set is not compact. What we have to prove set is not compact. So that means we have to prove either set is not closed or set is not bounded. So let us see what will what we can do for the given set A. If you look at this diagram, clearly you can say it is not bounded. Here you can go up to infinity and on this side you can go up to minus infinity. That means definitely the given set is not bounded. That thing we have to prove. So let me mention here, then that is, uh, okay. Therefore, it is enough to prove that, it is enough to prove that a is not bounded in R2D. So now the question is how to prove it is not bounded. So in previous videos also we have seen, seen that technique, the same technique I am going to use to prove the set is not bounded. That is therefore to prove that A is not a subset of ball with center 0, 0 radius r and is true for every r greater than 0. That means we have to prove set A cannot be a subset of any ball with center this origin 0, 0 and radius any r greater than 0. So this thing we have to prove. It means we have to find a point which lies in A but which is not lies in B then we can say the A is not subset of B. So let us try to find a point which is in A but which is not in ball, okay? So what shall I do? Let us take first R greater than 0. So let R greater than 0 be given. So I am taking any positive real number R, right? 
uh, okay let me remove this thing so we will have some more space to write so now i am selecting one point okay so let my point is xy which is equal to 0 comma 1 plus r from r2 so i am selecting one point okay xy so if you compare you can easily see your x is 0 and our y is 1 plus r okay so let us check whether that point lies in a or not we will check that point uh, xy will satisfy the condition of a or not let us find mod mod of x if i put x is equal to 0 mod of 0 which is 0 so obviously 0 is less than or equal to 1 so therefore we get mod x less than or equal to 1 so that means this condition is satisfied so we can say that point xy lies in a so therefore point xy belongs to a now we have to prove that that point does not belong to this ball then we can say a is not subset of that ball okay so how to prove that point uh, does not belong to this ball we will find distance of that point from the center of ball let us find consider what we are going to do we are going to find the distance of a point from the center of ball which is 0 0 so this is euclidean distance so we are familiar with the definition square root of x minus 0 first component minus first component square y minus 0 second component minus second component square so which is equal to square root uh, square root of x square plus y square so now let us put the values of x and y so what is value of x 0 getting and what is value of y 1 plus r plus 1 plus r square it means square root of 1 plus r square so what will happen square and square root will get cancelled so this is equal to 1 plus r r is greater than 0 getting r is greater than 0 so clearly it is greater than r getting greater than r so since we are adding 1 in that we are adding 1 in that so yes let me write a conclusion just make a screenshot of it then i will go further so therefore let me write what we have got so therefore distance of xy from 0 0 is greater than r see distance is greater than r so what we are doing here we are finding the distance of a point what we are doing let me draw the diagram so the picture will be clear to you see we have one ball with center 0 0 and radius r and there is one point xy and we are finding the distance of that point from the center of ball xy and we found that this distance is greater than r so that means that point lies outside so let me mention here so therefore that point lies outside therefore xy does not belong to that ball with center 0 0 radius r getting so here xy point lies in a but it does not belong to ball therefore a is not subset of ball so therefore therefore a is not subset of ball with center 0 0 radius r and it is true for every r greater than 0 since initially we started with for given r greater than 0 so the result is obviously for every r greater than 0 so therefore we can declare therefore a is not bounded so if you have any set any subset of r2d which is not bounded then definitely it is not compact so therefore a is not compact in r2d in r2d so in this way we completed this example make a screenshot of it then we will stop thank you see you